This clinic will cover how to keep score during a deciding set. A separate module covers keeping score for a non-deciding set. That module is recommended prior to viewing this module. When a match goes to a deciding set where there is a one set playoff, a slightly different score sheet is used. The deciding set score sheet is often printed on the back of the non-deciding set score sheet. For the most part, you keep score exactly as you did on the regular score sheet, but there are a few exceptions. When you pull out the deciding set score sheet, the first thing to do is to transfer over all sanctioned information and pertinent information in the remarks section, because these carry through for the entire match. Fill out any heading information, just as you did for the other sets of the match. Then fill in the official section and record the set number in the appropriate box. You see that the scoring section is wider than that of the non-deciding set score sheet. Don't be confused by this. For the most part, you keep score on the left side of the sheet for the first half of the set and the right side of the sheet for the second half. Now, let's look at how you will record things differently on the scoring section. After the coin toss, the referee will inform you on which sides the teams will start the set. Here, Lightning will start on your left and receive, and Thunder will serve first from your right. Write Lightning in both team boxes on the left and right sides of the score sheet, and also put the letter A in the appropriate circles, as it was designated as Team A since the beginning of the match. Then remember to X the R denoting that Lightning will receive the first serve. Write Thunder in the team box in the middle section of the sheet. Note that they are Team B, and X the S, showing that Thunder will serve first. And then record the third X in the first service round box under position 1 for Lightning, because they are not serving to start the set. Now enter the lineups just as you would for any other set. The only difference is that the information and lineups for the team that starts on your left is entered on both the left and far right side of the score sheet and the team that starts on your right is entered only in the middle section. This way, the information is where you need it when the teams change courts in the middle of the set. Note that you do not transfer the X onto the right side of the score sheet. During the first part of the set, keep score using the left and middle sections of the score sheet. Now, let's move ahead to the time when there are differences in keeping score on the deciding set score sheet. The score is currently 7-7, Lightning number 14 is the current server, since there is no exit score in the checked service round box under her number. Note that you must also record all substitutions on the left side on the right side of the score sheet. Similarly, the triangle notating a Libro server and any timeouts taken by the team on the left are also recorded on the far right when they occur. And, of course, any substitutions that occur for the team starting on the right are only recorded in the middle section of the score sheet. What is not recorded on the right side of the score sheet are points scored by the team on the left before the court switch. There are a couple of scenarios on how to record the eighth point, depending on which team reaches eight first. In the first situation, a player on the left serves and that team wins the rally. In this case, number 14 from Lightning serves the 8th point. Because Lightning won the point while they were on the left, slash the 8 in the left-hand points column, and then record an 8 at the points at change circle on the right section. Do not enter an exit score in the checked service round box on the left side, because number 14 will continue to serve after the court switch. Then transfer the last exit score from the left to the right side of the sheet, but not the corresponding check mark. After you have recorded all information for the court switch, show the ready signal to the referees. Let's now take a look at the second situation. It's still 7-7 and the team on the left serves. Here, however, the team on the right, Thunder, wins the point. First, under the server on the left in the checked service round box, record the exit score of 7, then slash point 8 in the Thunder points column. Then, record the score of 7 in the points at chain circle next to the team name on the right. Lastly, transfer Lightning's last service round's exit score from the left to the right section. But again, do not transfer the corresponding check mark. When Lightning next serves, number 2 will be the correct server. After you have recorded all the information for the court switch, show the ready signal. 
Here are some tips that will help you record information properly on a deciding set score sheet. All pertinent sanctions and notes in the remarks section from earlier sets must be transferred to the deciding set score sheet. Remember, all sanctions carry through the entire match. The lineup for the team that starts on your left will be recorded on both the left and right service order boxes. Prior to the court switch, all timeouts and substitutions for the team starting on your left will be recorded on both the left and right sections. And if the libero for the team starting on your left serves before the court switch, place the triangle around the Roman numeral in both the left and right service order sections. Prior to the court switch, any points that are earned by the team starting on the left will be slashed only in the points column on the left side of the sheet. Whether in a deciding set of 2 out of 3 or 3 out of 5 match, the team switch sides when one team reaches 8 points. If you are scoring a 1 set playoff to 25, the team switch sides when the first team reaches 13 points. Thanks for viewing this module and have a great season.